Hello, my name is uh, Rune Fardal. I live in Norway, city Bergen. I stay just west of Bergen now. And what I'm going to show you today is how to connect uh, Phantom 4 to Wirecast and recording. But first I will show you my setup here. I have um, four cameras going. What you're looking at now is the webcam in MacBook Pro. Uh, then I have uh, a um, iPhone 7. Let's get the picture from iPhone 7 here. That one, that is iPhone 7. You can see the uh, square coming up in face recognition. That's iPhone 7. And let me put, yeah. Um, and then I have the, I can turn the camera here. I have a Sony AX33. And the sound stay on top of it, a uh, wireless sound. Sennheiser going to a microphone in front of me and beside me here uh, yeah you can see this is it's a little reflection here but you see the wirecast is uh, running here I have the uh, Phantom 4 with iPad mini showing everything uh, it is connected with a HDMI output the one you see there module I move the one that come with the remote control and order a new one and put it in how to put it in you can find many videos on YouTube so um, it is connected to a, a HDMI a mini plug that then is connected to an HDMI A normally high-speed cable going into um, Blackmagic Ultrasonic mini recorder and I have the same one on Sony that come through Thunderbolt into MacBook Pro yeah that was about the setting on this side you have the cable coming from <laughs> iPhone 7 this is power and that is a hard disk okay let me turn the camera back again uh, there yeah I could tell you maybe I'll show you the um, Phantom 4 it stay over there on a setup that I can show you later on the tripod so that one is ready to take off okay I put my iPhone 7 down there um, like that so I have Phantom 4 coming in there I have Sony coming from behind and showing the Phantom over there and then I have webcam in MacBook Pro put together I have four cameras and um, okay that is the setup straight then I can go over to the um, let me put the put that one there so you can see uh, I'm going over to the Phantom remote control and it's all ready to go uh, I can actually turn the camera in this one so you can see what I'm doing here okay ready over there so ready here I push ready for takeoff I push slide Let me put that iPhone camera down again. Uh, you can see now from the Sony picture. 
that it's covering over there. Um, I shall just put the iPhone ready. If I now go to the remote controller, <coughs> I can move it a little out of here. Like that. Let me turn to iPhone. Let's show you the hovering. And let's take a look what is Phantom feeding us. It's feeling just fine. So let's move it a little bit more back. You can see I'm sitting outside my house today. Nice weather. Temperature reaching over plus 30 Celsius today. That's actually more than Bangkok right now. <laughs> but that's that's okay. So um, you see the picture is good. Uh, I can now give you the flight information in that picture. Uh, yeah, let me show you um, what's coming. I use the iPhone now to show you the remote controller. I go into the menu, click HD, and display OSD. Uh, on HDM output there now if I go back to uh, the picture from the drone you see now you can see the information coming in from the drone I can leave it there because then you can follow uh, follow the information okay <coughs> so let me put you on all the cameras and we can turn that camera this way so you follow um, going back and up let me bring you up to about 100 meter about there and the feed that comes from uh, the drone it looked like that now as you can see the information are there height 107 meter distance 83.8 meter and let me raise uh, the camera for you using the mic using the uh, controller you see I, I have I have the controller beside me here and let's go back to see what the camera have that's the more interesting thing uh, it's just hovering now and you can see the propeller going around if I go down you see it's a nice view here that is straight north from here turning west and what you see in the horizon is the Atlantic Ocean let's uh, take a trip closer to the water but as you can see the information is coming in to Wirecast just fine. Um, farms under us. And that's working just fine. So this is working just fine. It's 
signal coming down to remote controller going into wirecast Soon you can probably start hearing, I can stop it, stop it there, take it down a little bit. And then you can, let's activate the, so you see if I can see it on the iPhone, yeah, there you can see it when I use iPhone. Uh, it's coming closer down and in and you can see here from the drone switch to iPhone camera you can see it hovering over us going down a little bit yeah. Yeah, let's put up the uh, iPhone If I switch to Phantom 4, you can see it's hovering in front of me. Yeah. And that's how it shows from from the iPhone. Put up all the cameras, you can see them. You see? Phantom. Landing. Let's take it off. Okay. So, it's working. Phantom 4 connect through this um, extra module, HDMI module, into Wirecast. I think that could be interesting to use because you can actually use that as a remote camera. It doesn't have to take off, just put it on a tripod and it can stay there. And let me um, let me show you how the uh, tripod that I had is actually working. It's look like this it's actually just an steel frame H form that I have for connect on um, on the tripod and then the phantom just stay loose on this one here is some uh, rubber connected in the right position and then the phantom stay um, on this one so that's uh, working very good I use it sometime when I when I'm taking off from a boat or things like that put the tripod up and then whoosh, just take off okay and as you can see I can move the camera on the phantom 4 and I have the other cameras set up here this is the iPhone you can see the face recognition coming up all the time and I have the 
Sony AX33. So it's uh, working good. Okay, I hope this uh, was informative for you. If you like to fly with uh, Phantom 4, you can use um, this setup that I just showed you. And it will bring the signal, the streaming, back to your computer with the wire cast and it's working. No software extra. I had the last update on the remote controller and and the uh, Phantom 4. So it just worked. Okay, that was all for me. Hope it was uh, useful for you. Uh, it's working anyway and it can probably be used for many purposes. Okay, let me end here with the um, iPhone picture showing the beautiful weather here. West coast of Norway now. I have to put up the Phantom again. And there it's day ready for ready for uh, next flight okay that's all for me now folks nice weather maybe we go diving today see you later <laughs>